Hey guys, it's me, and this is my work in progress World War II Marine Infantryman impression. This is more of a late war Okinawa and Iwo Jima impression. I might do earlier war later, but later war kind of interests me more. So let's just go into the web gear. So I just got a huge at the front order today, and I got this web set. Pretty much, except for that. Um, I got a deflect, defect British-made cartridge belt, which is a actually not bad at all because ups and downs, more so ups or pros. Um, it does not have a U.S. stamp on either side. I forgot which side it's on. I think it's this one. Um, so that's a plus. I might be able to like rewrite it or stamp it in there. Um, it looks just like an American made one, wartime version, and it was half the price. Usually, United States Marine Corps or USMC cartridge belts from at the front run for, I think, 90 to $100, and that is just way out of my price range. So, Instead of that, I got a $50 version for pretty much the same thing, except this snap is kind of busted. Th that's why it's a defect. I don't really mind much. And this one, too. So, two out of the ten snaps do not really work. But that's okay with me. Gotta start somewhere. Um, I also got two P2, I mean P3, phase 3 canteen covers there's no date or anything or there's no like wool insulator in there so yeah Let's close those I also got my a um, jungle first aid kit Kirkman MFG 1942 I don't have anything in it right now but I will get some repro or original items for it. Actually, I kind of have to research what they would carry in there. Or YouTube search it. Because I have not yet. I just knew they carried that. I also, I already had this, but it's pretty crappy. So I might, you know, uh, get a new one and sell this. Or use it as an extra. It's by what price glory, I think. And it was only like $10, so I can't really complain much. But inside, it's just a very crappy Alcoist tin that I painted up. Up here, I got my um, 1941 suspenders. Those were kind of cheap, and sorry, my dog's in here. Um, <laughs> these were kind of cheap, $25 for at the front, I think. Um, so, yeah, that's my website and stuff I got today. Um, so that's cool. This is what my dad had as a kid. Uh, it's a knapsack. I still need my haversack and a bayonet. I already have an e-tool. It's just upstairs with all my other stuff with my helmet, too. But, um, it's 72 dated, but 1941. Like variant, I guess you could say. It. See, nineteen forty-one, United States Marine Corps, but it is seventy-two or seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-two dated. So, very late, but oh well. The difference between a World War Two version and this is it's a flap over it's not or it's like a crossover I forgot what it's called but it's just not like one sheet covering it it's like the entire pack going like that so there isn't like an opening right there like with the music bag would be um so this is okay for an Okinawa or maybe an Iwo Jima impression but I'm still going to be safe in either getting another original one of those or 
getting a repro one. But for now, I guess it's okay. And it's exactly the same except for the flap. And it even has the loops on the sides and the thing on the top. The only thing I keep in there right now is just my um t-shirt. It has my name on it, stenciled on it. So I just completely unfolded that. Over here, I have my United States Marine Corps leggings. The way you can tell that is it has six. Um, I'm just going to call them pegs. I know that's wrong, but oh well. I can't really find a date, but they both of them are marked with small in, and I think they're a size 3. These are a bit big on me, but I'm a small, skinny guy, so oh well. Um, they're kind of used up. I don't think they're World War II, possibly Korean or something like that. Or these, the only thing it's missing, actually I might need to get new ones because these don't come out. Like, you, they just won't come out. Um, they're kind of like open, I guess. Like, they're not as tight so they can't slide through there. Maybe I can get a pair of pliers and squeeze them together so they can slide through, but yeah. And on this one, I think, yeah, it's missing an eyelet. So maybe these did see a little bit of service, but I don't really think that they're World War II. I don't care that much. I mean, they're both the same design, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. I will keep you guys updated with what I get with um, my impression. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy I'm starting a new one because uh, World War II paratroopers is just like mainstream, I guess. I sound really, you know, hipster, but not a lot of Marines, like not a lot of Marine impressions are out there. Um, so it's kind of nice doing something that nobody really does. And I also have a lot of grandfathers, or great-grandfathers, that were either in the army or in the Marines itself, um, in the PTO or Pacific. And um, one of my grandfathers was actually in the army. He had a radio. I forgot if it was army or Marines. I'm pretty sure it's army, but I could be mistaken. Um, he had a radio and he would call in the um, artillery and... Uh, air support so that's pretty cool and I'm pretty sure he survived but he died a couple of years back because of old age and um so yeah sorry for taking another minute of your guys' time but thank you for watching comment rate subscribe and thank you again